All right, we're at BGC, of course. JJ, the Long Bowl, and Asia. And tonight we're going to check out one of the older areas of BGC. It's right behind me, the fort. So let's go check it out. Okay, we're gonna walk down this way. And uh, we're on Fifth Avenue, by the way, heading north. And uh, we're gonna just check out this area here called the Fort, right there. Now there used to be, from what I understand, there used to be a major club here called the Fort, and it was a huge club. It was very popular. And they closed down. I don't know if it was because of COVID or what the deal was, but they closed. But now there's a couple of other clubs open over here. We're going to check those out first. We're going to walk by there. And then I'm going to show you over here inside, like behind here, there's a lot of restaurants and uh, areas that's really cool that maybe you don't realize that are here uh, in BGC. If you've been to BGC, maybe you're not familiar with them. So we're gonna check those out. So let's go check it out. So this is the newest club in BGC called BSK. And it's really cool. Um, and it's right, it's right beside the uh, place called Nectar, which is a LPGQ uh, club. So if you're into that sort of thing, there's one right over there. But if you like regular clubs, lots of dancing, lots of vibe, uh, BSK might be the place for you. So we're gonna walk down to the corner here, which is 28th Street. And we're gonna walk around the back and check things out. So. Over here, you've got restaurants. Um, Wild Cow Clubhouse. Korean barbecue. This is in the heart of BGC. This is Fifth Avenue and 28th. Let's step up here and take a little shortcut. This is a Chinese restaurant here that's pretty high end. I went there when they opened up uh, a few months back and uh, the prices are pretty high. So if you like good Chinese food, this would be where you go. You gotta pardon me, I've got some allergy issues tonight. My allergies are kicking my ass. All right, so this is where I wanted to show you, Fort Street. So, you got a really little alley down here. I'll show you that later. But over here, there's some really neat little restaurants that you may not be aware of. Little, little places out of the way There's a Japanese spa, Japanese Korean barbecue, a place called Rax, been around for a while, Club 99 upstairs. Now over here, this kind of reminds me of these little alleys you see in Tokyo and uh, Bangkok, kind of out of the way places where you can find really good deals, really good areas. 
that you normally wouldn't find on the main areas. So you got some food up there. Food down here. Clean grill. Over here, seafood. The Club 99. This is a Monday night, so probably not as busy as it normally would be. But this is kind of something that is different than the main vibe, like you would think of uh, BGC being High Street and Uptown and uh, Forbes Town. Uh, this is a little different. And this these areas have been around for a long time. So you just have to kind of be here and get into the vibe, so to speak. So this is the entrance to Club 99. Food here. Bing Chu House. Bing Chu House. Decent prices, under seven dollars per plate. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We'll kind of roam around here. Um, from the outside, it looks like a small area, but really, if you kind of walk around in the little alleys and stuff, there's a lot of things going on here. So, like here, there's a lot of outdoor dining. This is a kitchen rebar. Okay. Hello, how are you? It's really got a Japanese vibe. Hey! <laughs> wait, wait, I, they want me to come in. <laughs> I'll come in and say hi. This door? Oh, over here, okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm sorry? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I'm, a, I'm a vlogger. Uh, JJ the Lonely Bull in Asia. Where are you from? I live here now, two years. But from the U.S. originally. Which part? Uh, the Midwest. Midwest? Yeah, in the middle. In the middle. I'm from the east. Where? I'm from the east. The east? Where in the east? Where in the Midwest? Uh, Nebraska. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm from New York. New York? Ah, oh, nice. Awesome. So, what do you offer here? A lot. Yeah. Ask the servers. Oh, okay. Do you do uh, karaoke? <laughs> can, can I sing? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> no. I'm just doing a little tour of this area. All right. What kind of food do you serve? Uh, we serve uh, pasta. Sandy. That's the best food there is. We serve pasta. Pasta? Filipino food. Okay. Is this for just the vlog? The vlog? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big taxi. Hi, give a shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. 
Alright, take care. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Yeah. Mabuhay. 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 Live life, my friend. Take care. Bye bye. Alright, so I got, I got a DJ. Like I said, it's Monday, so it's not really busy. But you know what? I bet they have a good crowd on the weekend. So we're going to, again, I want to apologize for my sniffles. Uh, got an allergy issue tonight. Uh, really bugging me. Uh, could be the weather, probably. Uh, let's move down here. Senegal Express, open 24 hours. All right. Unlimited wings and rice, $3.99. What a deal. Under $8. About $7.50 for unlimited wings and rice at Fuga. Hello. <laughs> you woke up just in time. Falafel, oh, so Mediterranean food here also. Right here, falafel. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who's walking who? <laughs> nice little uh, restaurant here called Rats. So you can see Rats. They've got uh, the food plate specials for $3.25. Price is out at $3.25. There's surf and turf. There's a rib and chicken. There's a ribeye steak. Ribeye steak only $5.15. So about $10. That's a good price for a ribeye with looks like mashed potatoes and corn. So that's a good price. I haven't eaten here, but uh, I want to check it out. And Heaven is another place I've eaten in Heaven when I first moved here. They've got some nice deals here. There's your prices there. Basically, if you double the price listed there in peso, you'll get your U.S. dollars. So, say five hundred. So six. So let's say chicken. So teriyaki chicken don four thirty. Double that. It's like eight sixty. So it's just under eight dollars, or just around eight dollars. So that's the best way to figure things out. So. Uh, we got uh, that over here. And this is a Japanese restaurant called Wasoi. Park over here. There's lots of parking over here, which is at a premium in EGC. It's better just to walk wherever you go or Take a grab or take a bike. You go where you need to go. So we're gonna walk down here and check things out down here. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. This place is called On the Way. On the way, where? I'm not sure. Chinese cuisine and barbecue. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Here's their dishes. A little pricey. Well, not, not so bad. Five eighty is about ten dollars. A little over ten dollars. Tofu food's uh, three twenty, so a little under six bucks. So you can get like a, a good range of uh, food prices there. Beer and barbecue. Hello. <laughs> so it looks like most everything. So here's like most everything is under 400 there, which is under $8. And then here under 500, which is under $10. So we had some good choices. For less than Western prices, so that's good. And you're in a great area. Look at the scene. Look at the scenery. 
Wow. It's pretty amazing. We'll go back this way. There's the Shabu Shabu seafood place. And over here, you've got Korean. <laughs> we got Korean food here. And then upstairs, you got the romantic baboy. Let's so walk around to the, the 26th Street uh, area here. There's some more restaurants. Over here, this is Rax again. And then over here, you've got the opera. This is Italian. Very high end. Never eaten here, but just looking, it looks like it's pretty high end. And then this place called Brick and Mortar. Kitchen and Bar. Oh, hello. Let's check the menu out here. So it looks like the prices are really decent. I mean, really decent. I don't see anything under, I don't see anything over 400. This is all, uh, looks like uh, Filipino food. Kari Kari, 365, so that's about 650. Yeah. I mean, nice menu, nice prices. So I want to check that out. It's a really nice area. We have happy hour promo prices too. Buy three, get one free promo. Three thirty for a beer. That's not bad. Three thirty for four beers. That's a good price. Right there. Brick and mortar, local kitchen bar. Nice. And then over here, it's called Craft. This is one of the first places I ate at when I moved here back two years ago. Uh, two years ago, two years and two days ago, actually. <laughs> um, this is one of the first places I I ate at Craft Rock and Grill. Um, I've got decent, decent food, decent beer, and uh, nice ambiance. And then over here on the other side, this is called uh, Katsu, I believe. So Japanese grill, yeah, Katsu. And I, this is one of the other first places I've eaten at since I'm when I moved first moved here two years ago. So we've got a good menu here and uh, good food. 
So check it out. This is uh, one of the places that you probably wouldn't normally go to in uh, BGC. You would normally go to the heavy traffic areas like High Street and Forbstown and Uptown. But you might not go to these places. You might pass by them. But these are one of the older, this is one of the older areas in BGC. Uh, Wild Cow Barbecue. Very good place. Hello. Um, so this is back, we're back on Fifth Avenue. But uh, that's that's kind of the, the tour. That's uh, where we're at. So between Fifth Avenue and Seventh Avenue and between 26th and 28th Street, you'll find the fort at Bonificio at BGC. So check it out. Uh, there's some really good areas here kind of off, and off by themselves. Uh, so enjoy, uh, check it out. It's kind of a neat little area, and I think you'll enjoy it. So until next time, JJ, the Lonely Bullet Agent, signing off. We'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.